everyone, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake, and he's Dawa Man! Again. And this is the Quran Reloaded, and we're back to do another reaction. And yes, we have Dawa Man back, but this one is special for a few reasons. Firstly, it's some of the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. And secondly, this video actually isn't on his channel because he deleted it because of how much shit he got for it. And once you see the video, you will understand why. Yeah, this is, uh... Cringe isn't the right word. It's more like whatever the angry version of cringing is. It made me uncomfortable, for like sure. Like, it's a dry heave. That's what that is. Is Are there dry heave memes? We need to start them just for this video. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's choke this one down. Ooh. <laughs> let, me drop, let me drop it to you this way, right? You know, uh, you were talking about shoes earlier, so are you not into clothes and fashion yeah. and stuff? Yeah. Oh, good. He decided to preach to some aspiring nail and hair stylists. I'm sure they'll buck all trends and be well spoken and intelligent. Okay, fantastic book. So, let me ask you a very important question. Yeah, you don't dress a certain way. Yeah. Why do you dress like that? Because I think it looks alright. Like, yeah. And like, do you, okay. I don't want to be wearing granny clothes and yeah. that. Do okay, you? Okay, like I said, well spoken and intelligent. Let me ask you Do you do you think it looks alright? Or is it for guys to think that you look alright? I'm with Dawa Man on this one. What's with this leopard print overalls combo? Tim Gunn is about to declare jihad on this woman's wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, I'm already uncomfortable. I hope this video peaks at like over the pants second base, because if it goes any further than that, I'm turning it off after I come. <laughs> nah, not nah, nah. No. Obviously it's well hot, like yeah. gonna wear. <laughs> Certain clothes. But listen, are you honestly telling me yeah, that you don't dress in a certain way for men no, to think that you no, look a certain no, no. way? Seriously, guys, are you dressing like this to attract men, or am I a huge fucking creeper that chose you three young teenage girls out of a crowd in London because I think you dress to look fuckable? Because I don't want perverts. So, exactly. But you do have perverts looking at you. Specifically, a brown one who is shoving a mic in your face. Stroking his surprisingly fair skinned shaft. <laughs> Yeah, see, like, these two can wear clothes that show off their bellies and tiny tits, but I'm wearing a pirate shirt and you still stopped me, so checkmate. Not really, because. Yeah, they, they, okay, let me drop you to this one. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're telling me you have experience that perverts are looking at you. Yeah. That's because you're dressed in a way where they will look at you. And as we all know, sex crimes and general creepiness have been completely wiped out in Muslim countries. That is why women are dying to get into Saudi Arabia. Yeah, but it's not all the time, do you know what I mean? Like, you Sometimes can be dressed, it you is. Can be like, say that you're going out clubbing exactly. or something and you're wearing like hot pants or something like that. Yeah. Fair enough, but if I'm wearing this and like a pedo looks at me, then tell him to f off. Exactly, you just tell him to f off, innit? Right. Y yes. I I'm sure a pedophile would be very turned off by you struggling. Okay, but let me drop it to you this way, yeah? You see, if there was a rapist, yeah? yeah. Alright, up until now, maybe he could have salvaged this pickup attempt. But now, I'm not sure if any of them will want to grab a drink after this. <laughs> yeah. And you know we live in a... Com you, you lot must know some friends that have been raped. Yeah. yeah. And they reply... Of course we know people that have been raped, because we were the rapists the whole time! Surprise! Ooh, Shyamalan. Yeah? Because, uh, how old do you know? 14. Holy shit, she's 14? Yeah, I'm on, I'm on Daiwa's side now. That's somebody's daughter, and her pimp is somebody's son! Okay, when I was Yudo's age, there was girls in my, in my, in my, in my class that had been raped, like, like it was happy days. Okay, calm down, Dawa. The Fonz never got this handsy. <laughs> I think he's mixing it up with the Cosby show. Yeah. And most people don't tell anyone, right? What kind of person do you think a rapist would rape? A woman that's dressed in a way that's revealing? Like she said, when perverts are looking at her? Okay, listen, you genuine piece of shit. I already knew you were a fucking moron, but really, you're gonna stand here and make me assume you blame women for their own rape. That's how I feel about all those darn sexy kids showing off to those blameless priests. I mean, it's right there. They can't just not rape, right? But, like, they rape, rape any, like, like, they rape any they children, see, like, like, you're small and you're pretty, pretty exactly. or you're skinny and stuff, and, like, I don't think they rape fat people, to be honest. Wow. There's, uh, there's a lot to get through here. 
Uh, so fat, fat people, I guess you're good to go. No rapers here. Little skinny, pre little skinny, pretty people though. You will, you'll probably be raped. Apparently. Also, Dawa man thinks it's your fault. So, uh, wow. But, no, that's all. <laughs> yeah, but still. They do, but the point is just that this, 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 this is what research has shown. Anyone, you know they will go for anyone. But listen, is there certain kind of people that they will go for more than anyone else? Yeah. Okay, so... Dawa man definitely thinks about raping women, right? I'm not the only one getting that vibe. You you just you just said that people who wear more revealing clothes yeah. are more likely to get raped. If I was wearing revealing clothes now, then yeah. Because are, are it doesn't you... matter what you really look like, does it? As long as you're a girl and that. And as long as, like, they think you're a little, like, slag sort of thing because you're wearing revealing clothes, but... But that doesn't mean... Like, Say that again? It's hot. <laughs> it <doesn't> <laughs> Obviously you're gonna wear these clothes, you know what I mean? Like, okay. So Dawa Man has stopped these girls basically to tell them that if he were a rapist, which he is certainly not by the way, he would rape them. The girls on the other hand are like, dude, it's fucking hot out, so I'm going to wear season appropriate clothing. Frankly, I don't know who to believe, because these girls are in tank tops and Dawa Man is over here in a fucking flannel hat and black leather vest looking like the exact opposite of a rapist. Yeah. Opposite. Oh my yeah. God. Obviously gonna come out in boiling clothes, like jumpers, bloody leggings, <laughs> whatever. You're gonna be sweating out, mate. Do you know what I mean? Okay, but let me ask you something. You're not in society, yeah? Yeah. yeah. This is the first time in history. Has, has it, was it, was it hot a hundred years ago? Yeah. Was it hot it 50 years ago? Um, did the sun exist 100 years ago? Yeah. So you can imagine it was hot 100 years ago. Yeah. Was it hot 30 years ago? Yeah. A billion years ago? Yeah. Now this is the first time in human history where people would actually dress revealing. I often judge what I should do by what people did when they used to bathe once a month and hadn't invented toilet paper yet. Well, when someone was born, innit? Say that again? When someone was born. <laughs> Says you, clearly that baby is just asking for whatever happens to it if it goes out dressed like a travel-sized slut. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, like, human, like, obviously if a baby walks out naked, that's not a problem, but you're not gonna go out of your house naked, innit? Yeah, Point that, you're saying that, like, I don't know. What, 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 what I'm trying to say is today, is who, who made it okay for women to dress in a revealing way? Yeah, it was much better in the days of Muhammad when he used a nine-year-old as an object to come in, but at least she wasn't being objectified, am I right? The point I'm trying to make you understand and is that the reason why women dress the way that they're dressed today is because they're used as objects for people to make money off them. Yeah. You, do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Because that never happened a hundred, even fifty years ago that never happened. Here are some pictures from 1966, which is fifty years ago. The first one is an ad in a magazine. Here's a picture of a dance or something. The lady here is obviously trying to evade the man's dance moves while this guitarist looks directly into the camera like the Bush League musician he is. And here's Mick Jagger and someone's titty in a car. I bet that titty's dead now. <laughs> but it, it started by them, I, I can't remember what car it was, but they were trying to shot a Volkswagen in one country and they put like a girl in a bikini on top of the car. But what does the girl in a bikini have to do with selling the car? Nothing, Nothing, just to make people Exactly, do you see what I'm saying? God damn it, bitch, we're doing an interview! Get off your fucking phone! So, in essence, this is why I ask you if you think you're free. Because the only reason you dress how you dress is because society made you feel like this is the way a woman should dress. Yeah. But when a woman dresses like that, she gets mistreated. What do you expect us to wear then? Okay, so here's the thing. So now, please adopt my shitty backwards society standards instead, because I'm a creep who can't behave himself in modern society without feeling the urge to commit violence against them. Like, what, do you, what do you really expect us to wear, do you know what I mean? This like, isn't okay. right, innit? Because I'm not revealing anything, apart from my belly and my arms. And apart from, yeah. <laughs> if it ain't a burka, it's not gonna worka. We're, we're still workshopping the slogan, but still burka. I don't mean nothing rude by this, but what are you expecting us to go around covered? Like? So let me tell you, I'm not expecting nothing of you. I have no expectation of you, yeah? But this is, this is, this is, this is how we see, this is how we see women, right? If you were going to get married to a brer one day, would the brer go with a girl that looks more decent or would you go with a girl that looks a bit more like a hoe? No, I'm not even talking about you. See, this is why you don't interview shavs. They always got to derail the conversation. Oh. I don't know, decent or... I'm talking hypothetically. 
Yeah? So, okay, look, deep down, even you know that a bread would like a decent right, woman. Get, that like, people don't really have. Look at her shoes revealing everything, isn't she? Okay. <laughs> that woman's got her ass out and everything. She ain't even got an ass, but anyway. This girl found time in an interview to throw shade at some random woman. I fucking hate teenagers. You should just come out a four-year-old, like right out of the vagina, to four years old. Be cool for a couple years, then go into a pupa stage like chrysalis cocoon thingy. Maybe it's made of your newfound pubic hair, and then and then you just you just grow in there for a few years until you come out a decent fucking person instead of a waste of fucking oxygen and, and resources. It's basically a walking glob of hormones, idiocy, and Tumblr blogs. I did a study where they sh where, 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 where they showed a bunch of men uh, like a slice of meat, like a, like a like a steak, and their brain saw it as an object. Then they showed. These same men, women that were dressed in a revealing way, and they saw the woman just how they saw the steak. But when they saw a woman that was covered up, they saw her as a human being. Alright, so you made me use the Google. I looked up the study. Firstly, there were 21 participants, which is a pretty small sample group, but anyway. Firstly, there was no mention of the meat part whatsoever. Totally made that up. They did not test meat. It was just women in bikinis and stuff. Secondly, along with the actual test, they were also given a written questionnaire, which rated men on their attitudes towards women. What do you know? The ones who scored as, and I quote, hostile sexists were the ones who were most likely to view women as objects. So to reiterate, assholes who see women as objects see women as objects. I don't think we need a brain scan to guess where Dawa would score on this one. That's why. Okay, so let, let. right, but this is what I want to know. Yeah, I want to know um, what's happening. Like, it's nothing even to do with this. Like, I can't walk to ask. No, go for it. it. Ask. Like, I want to know who made us, and I want to know who like, made up words and that. And, like, Are you being serious? Yeah. So she she just asked Dawa man if if you didn't catch that she just asked him quote who made us and then there was a short pause. Like, who made words and stuff? This fucking dumb bitch. I don't care if you're 14, pay the fuck attention in school. Maybe spend less time buying gold chains off eBay from former 90s rappers and learn just like one thing about the world instead of asking random dudes on the street about life. <laughs> I'm interested into why you would ask that question. Because I don't believe in God. You don't believe in God? No. Okay, that's really interesting. And this is actually my area of study. Wow, he really hit pay dirt here. He must have interviewed hundreds of women who told him to fuck right off before he found these women who led him down a conversation to God. You want to know who made up words? Yeah. I'm stuff okay. Do you know it? Of course I know this, man. Tell us. So, wait, let, let me ask you something. You believe in God, you're saying? You don't. No, no. Why don't you believe in God? Because how can a um, ghost man make everyone here? How can he make people like think of clothes and shit like that? You heard it here first, people. The big refutation of God is how could a ghost man make people think of clothes? Yep. This is my nightmare. And like, I don't get it because it just the generation goes on and on and like Adam and Eve aren't real. I don't believe in that either. Okay. Do you guys believe in demons? Yeah. yeah. They believe in demons, <laughs> but not God. What? Dawa, you are so lucky you stumbled across some of the dumbest girls in the UK. Possibly the entire EU. I don't believe in God or religions, any of that shit. Psh, but I believe in demons because they're not in charge of words and clothes and stuff. In it? Did, did, I, did I use in it right? I don't know UK things. Okay, so have, you, have you ever ghost. seen a demon? Uh, no, no, I've seen a ghost though. I have Plenty of times. Okay. My nan has that. You have it? My nan has. You have, yeah? yeah. Okay. No, my nan. Your, your nan has. Yeah. yeah, that's what I said. So look, in the, the, the Quran, which is our book, which comes from the Creator, yeah, tells us that the Creator created two kinds of creatures, the humans and a creature called the jinn. Jinn are actually where the idea of genies came from. So here's a tip. If you're scared of demons, just remember that the Muslims call them jinn, and they're basically genies, and we all know that genies are either A, that one lady who was obviously a sex slave, or B, they are Robin Williams. So next time you see a demon, imagine a sex slave or a dead guy. But like, but like a funny dead guy. Now the evil ones from them are what we call, what you lot call demons, but we call them shaitan. 
So say for example, I want to take your phone and I wanted to, your phone's here, but then suddenly it's there. Remember, because these things are invisible, they take the phone and they put it there. No, you fucking idiot. You just moved it and forgot. Is he so stupid? He has to justify <laughs> being for forgetful with goddamn demon genies? <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? And that's what happened. Me personally, I've actually, I've actually battled with these demons before. Really? Yeah. Can you tell us? 100%. Yeah, really, girl. If you want to come over and see me battle demons sometimes, I have a fresh subscription to Netflix and some lightly worn condoms. There was on one occasion, in fact, my brother, uh, he just left actually. Basically, there was this one girl who was possessed by a demon. And you know what exorcism is? Yeah. I had to do exorcism on her. All right. Now I take back what I said about him blowing his pickup attempt. All he has to do now is mention their horoscope, and I guarantee at least two of the three <laughs> will go home with him. You don't want to see a video? Yeah. Of my friend doing it? Yeah, yeah. Right, one second. So this is a this this is a specific verse from the Quran that deals with uh, people who are possessed, yeah? yeah. So he's reciting this, and look at the way the person reacts. Oh, cool! This shit show just turned into a video about four people watching a totally separate video on one of the four's phone. Awesome. <laughs> What the demon inside him does when he recites this. <laughs> See, what we have here is a classic case of the restless leg syndrome demon. These crafty buggles will make you roll around in your bed like a scarecrow in a brush fire. Yes, sir, -y Bob. <laughs> Aw, he's having a dream, he's running. <laughs> that's why it's, that's just God's speech, we just repeat it. I just, I just repeat that and it will, it will cause the demon to burn. Look at, look at these girls right now. The disinterest is palpable. You know what I'm saying? they know it's from God. Because they know it's from God. But then we as human beings walk around thinking that we know everything and we turn our back on God. I genuinely hope for all of our sakes that these girls are just too polite to tell him to fuck off because if there are people out there who can see that video and genuinely not think of the alternative explanations, we are all fucked. Like a woman who is dressed immodestly. <laughs> nice. So do that, do you have you ever paid to yeah, I have, but like nothing, nothing better happens. If you missed that, it, it was a little hard to hear. But if you missed it, the girl in the leopard print thing asked the girl in the white tank top if she'd ever prayed to God. The girl in the white said no, and the leopard print girl said she had, but nothing better has ever happened. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> They're somehow too stupid to realize he's full of shit. But also too smart to find his overall premise of the God existing being true. This is how smart you have to be to not believe in God. That's your fucking bar. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, that's yep. Dawa Man's. I guess we'll call it a video. It was on video, but I don't know if I. <laughs> the content itself. He had a. He had like a tiny, much shorter stemmed Bob Barker mic. I have. What was he thinking? Like, he's so dumb. Like, come on, man. I did. I knew based on his other videos, like, oh, this guy's dumb. I get he's dumb and he's right. delusional, but like, he runs through hoops to try to make a point. But he kind of does a Ray Comfort thing. But but genuinely, <sighs> this guy is a f he's a fucking despicable person. He's like disgusting. <laughs> yeah, he's terrible. It's not, it's not a good look, man. No. Not a good look when you're like, hey, people would rape you. Yeah, not uh, a not the most tactful. Or understanding of how rape works. <laughs> Does he genuinely right. think like in countries where like full like headdresses and burkas and stuff? And yes, I know they're different. Uh, does he think there just isn't sexual assault there? Because I guarantee it happens all the fucking time. You want to see people yeah, who treat women like objects? Come on. Uh, yeah, no shit. And and even in, in most of those countries where stuff like burka like full regalia is mandatory like if you deny a man's advances there's a good chance you'll be assaulted like there was just a girl recently that was set on fire yeah 
she was set ablaze for being like, no, I don't want to suck that dick. It, like, how is that not reasonable? I don't think there's a single dick in that country that you'd want to suck because of the smell. There's no way manscaping has reached them yet. A, and it's B, sandy? It's, it's hot as balls. So, yeah. sweaty Arabian bush that probably isn't washed very often. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Imagine that smell. It's like a fine cheese mm. that's been kept in a French cellar for a hundred years. <laughs> anyway <laughs> french seller so anyway thanks everyone if you have any videos you want us to talk about recommend them in the comments uh with a link yeah if you can't i'm not trying to type myself no i'm kidding no too much work that link <laughs> that link was asking for it so you can always check us out on twitter at bible reloaded you can follow hugo at hugo reloaded and you can also subscribe to the channel and uh i i guess we're gonna talk about uh, this stuff again did you like it <laughs> i didn't at no. all you can always donate to our patreon campaign we do a once a month patron only hangout where we bullshit uh talk to each other talk to you guys if you're in the live stream you know all that good stuff that's a lot of fun that's that's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. so until next time i'm not a rapist i'm i'm not but dawa man Maybe. Like, he, it seems like he knows a lot of inside rapist information yeah. that you otherwise wouldn't know. <laughs> he, like, oh no, rapists are here all the time. Like, they hide in that specific bush. I'm not saying he has raped. I'm saying he's definitely considered it. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking piece of human garbage. If you live in London, beware the dumb.